Hello YouTube, hope you guys are doing well and fine. Welcome back to the part 2 of Elemental Reactions 101. This video we will cover the reactions of the two elements Animal and Geo. But if you haven't watched the part 1, I recommend you watch the part 1 first and then come to the part 2. The link will be in the description so make sure you check that part first and then come here. Let's start the video, shall we? Unlike other elements like pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro, who can be both an applicator and a triggerer, animo and geo can only be the triggering element, okay? When you do an animo or a geo-infused attack, the enemy is left with no aura. The enemy cannot be inflicted with an animo or a geo aura. Okay, let's talk about the re elemental reactions starting with Geo. Geo is probably the most unreactive element of the seven. Okay, it has only one reaction that is called crystallize. Crystallize is a transformative reaction which doesn't actually do damage. It is a reaction between Geo with pyro or hydro or cryo or electro. On triggering, it drops a shard on the ground of the respective element with which Geo came in contact. This shard will give you a shield, okay? This shield will scale out of elemental mastery. It will block all sorts of damage, not only the infused element, but it will block the infused elemental damage more, okay? It's not much of a big reaction in Genshin Impact, the only way this reaction shines is with the help of the four-piece archaic Petra. The next reaction that I'm going to talk about is another transformative reaction called Swirl. Swirl is another transformative reaction which scales out of elemental mastery and your character's level. It occurs when the animal character comes in contact with Pyro, Hydro, Cryo or Electro. Uh, when animal comes in contact with any of these elements, it triggers a Swirl. When a swirl is triggered, it spreads the element with which it came in contact with, causing the nearby enemies that aren't affected with any aura or different aura to be affected by the same aura. Since swirl spreads the infused element to a lot of different enemies, okay, if different enemies are affected with different auras, they can be swirled together causing a chain reaction and even spread elemental auras to different enemies that aren't even affected by any aura. The higher the elemental mastery, the better the swirls you'll get. Since animal can only be the triggers, elemental mastery matters a lot. Okay, that is why many animal characters like Kazuha, Venti, or, and even Sucrose are stacked with tons of elemental mastery. On the other hand, it doesn't help Geo that much, it only makes the shards, the shields that are obtained from the shards a lot stronger. But we have different shielding characters in Genshin Impact, that's why a Crystallize is mainly ignored. The special characteristic of Swirl is that Swirl ignores the enemy defense, the enemy level and the enemy resistance. Swirl causes, like I said, the infused element to spread and do AOE damage and apply the aura to the enemies that aren't affected with any aura, except Hydro, okay? It does no damage but applies the Hydro aura. When in an AOE situation, when 
different enemies like for example four enemies are affected with pyro and you swirl those four enemies two instances of swirl infused damage is done to each enemy per half second okay so that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please put the like button it really encourages me to do more of such videos and uh, stay tuned for the part three which will cover the dendro reactions and yeah that's all for this video i will see you all in the next one bye bye